everyone, good afternoon. My name is Amanda and welcome to The Done Creative. For today's pick a card reading, we are going to be figuring out how to make your dreams a reality, or in other words, how to make your manifestations come to you. So if you're new to pick a card readings, I just ask that you close your eyes, take a couple of deep cleansing breaths to try to center your energy and focus in on piles number one, two, and three. And if more than one pile calls out to you, there may be a message in each pile for you. Or if there are multiple dreams you're wanting to come true, you can assign a pile to each dream or pick two of the piles or one of the piles or all three. It doesn't matter. This is your reading. So I want you to do it however you see fit. So once you've selected your pile or piles, we're going to go ahead and check the description box below for your timestamps. And I also try to pin them as the top comment. So without delaying this any further, let's go ahead and give you a moment to meditate on the cards and I will see you over at your reading. All right, group number one, let's go ahead and find out how you can make your dreams a reality or how you can bring this manifestation to life. So to start out with, you have the number 26, the feather card. Think first before you judge. So two plus six is eight. So there is a certain kind of magic to the number eight. It is an infinite number. You know, you can just keep going back and forth. This is an eight sideways, obviously, but back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And where I actually see you within this figure eight is in that very middle where my fingernails are coming together, that very midpoint of the eight, you know, I'll turn it this way, make it an actual eight instead of that infinity symbol. But I see you at the midpoint. That is at zero point. You can decide where it is you want to go. But what this is really saying for you guys is think first before you judge. So maybe you have your, your mindset or your hopes set on this one specific thing happening and you know exactly how you want it to happen and all the people involved and what's going to go on for you to be able to make this dream your reality. But what this is saying is don't, um, you know, I'm, I'm seeing like someone walking in the door and you're like, oh, that's not my opportunity. I'm waiting for my opportunity when that was your opportunity, if that makes sense. It's like the, the people that are going to be helping you accomplish this thing or the people involved maybe a little bit different than you had envisioned. And, you know, thinking before you judge, maybe be more open-minded about how this manifestation can become a reality for you guys. Because I see, um, it's funny, because I there is this old parable or a little story that I heard many years ago, but it goes a little something like this, where this man is stranded on a desert island and he sits in the sand and he prays to God to send him a miracle to take him back home to safety. So he's sitting there after he says his prayer and he's just kind of waiting and along comes this little boat with a man and is like, hey, do you need any help? He's like, no, God's got me. I got this. I'm good. And then after a little while longer, a cruise ship comes along. And then after a little while longer, a helicopter comes along and it's like, hey, do you need any help down there? And he's like, nope, God's got me. I'm good. I'm just waiting for my miracle. And so the helicopter flies away and, you know, long story short, he keeps getting these, these people sent to him to help him and he keeps pushing them away, waiting for this one specific, you know, God is going to be the one to step down and help me because that's what I asked for. But God twice or three times or however many times in this little parable sent help through other people multiple ways and this person had their heart set so, you know, their mind set so much on it's going to happen this way that they just kind of um, disregarded all those other signs and symbols and synchronicities that the universe or God was sending them. And that's what I see with you guys. So I'm really saying just be very open-minded as to who may be involved in making this dream a reality, um, how you may make this dream a reality. The how is very, I just see it fluid, like it can change, it can shift. And when we are so set on things happening in a very specific way, we really can limit the potential of that. So I'm just seeing you being very open-minded. And because these four women here are working together, I do see maybe you're gonna have other people helping you make this dream a reality. So even if you are an entrepreneur doing your own thing in your own business, maybe you are a wife and you have children and 
the help that you're going to receive is your husband maybe handing the kids off to your husband so you can focus on work. So even if you are an entrepreneur and you don't need other people's help, a lot of times we do in, in other ways maybe than to, to do the work set out, but maybe to, like I said as the example, have the someone watch the kids so you can focus on that work. And that's just an example. You can apply that to your scenario in any way you see fit. So let's go ahead and deal you some more cards. We're gonna go ahead and start with the Moonology deck and I'm gonna try, try to just get one card from this deck. How can group number one bring their manifestation to them? How can group number one make their dream a reality? Here it is. A time to give rather than take. So it feels like you're gonna be very giving with your energy to make this thing a reality. So for some of you, this dream you're trying to have come to life involves other people and helping other people. Maybe you're wanting to set up that business or this service where you can really help other people. And I see for some of you, this does involve children. And it's funny because that's kind of the example I used as the wife needing help um, with her children so she could focus on work. But I feel like maybe some of you are wanting to help children in some way. And that's really manifesting or going to help bring this manifestation toward you if you can give to other people, give of your time, give of your attention, your resources. It doesn't always have to look like assigning a check away to someone and handing it over. It can look like your time, your effort, your energy, um, creating something and donating it for an auction or something. I mean, you donating your money or time can look very different for each person involved, but this is going to be a time for you to give because when you give, you get threefold back what you give to other people. Just watch it happen. Just watch. It's very beautiful to see it happen. So we're going to go ahead and get another card. We're going to go ahead and use this Oracle of the Seven Energies card. Okay. Just want one. I'm sure. Oh, I'm doing it upside down. Okay. We want one card. How can group number one make their dreams a reality? And this one jumped at me, so I'm going to take it. Great and full. This is funny because giving rather than taking, and there's this cup here that is just so full of wine or, you know, whatever kind of abundance. My top camera doesn't focus, so I'm going to try to show you up here, but there is some sort of wine or something spilling out. So that to me feels like you're going to be able to give to others because your cup is going to be so full that it's you're going to have no choice. Like, you know, I need to offload some of this abundance to other people because I have so much abundance coming in for me. So if this is you wanting to start some sort of business or um, asking about a career or something where you are, you know, being able to receive abundance, you're giving abundance as well. Great and full. You feel like it's just it's I just picture you giving to people and the more you give it's like you just keep getting 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 which really goes well with this a time to give rather than take card as well but the number on this card is a four which is all about the support and building a strong foundation having that support system whether in your family or with your guides your angels the universe God so whatever this is whatever this dream is that you're wanting to make reality you have the support of your your spirit team, as I like to call them, and I feel like the people in your life will be on board or they already are on board with whatever it is that you are wanting to do or go after or if this is a relationship you're hoping to step into, you'll have the support from your friends, your family, like, yeah, I really like this person, this is great, something like that. But you are going to be so abundant when this dream becomes reality that you're just going to be able to give and give and give and, in effect, receive 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 and then that just starts that snowball effect of being able to give even more because you're receiving even more and i feel like you guys are those really um empathic people the ones that really want to help humanity in some grandiose way and with this so far it looks like you can be able to do that so let's go ahead and get a little more information how group number one can make their dreams a reality with this one we have romance, and this one's really sticking out, so we're going to take it as well. And then we have reconsider, so I'm kind of glad I took that because for those of you who are single, maybe you have your eye on someone already, and it's like you have this plan, you know, going back to think first before you judge, it's like you have this plan, you guys are going to end up together, and you're going to do all these things together, and... 
because you have the reconsider card, this may not be the person that is meant for you to build the life with. Or if this is a business, there may be specific elements of this business that maybe you need to reconsider. But if you're already, you know, not wanting a business, you're already with the person you love, you don't really, you know, need that romance. This is saying by just being romantic with the one you love, it's going to amplify your energy and your vibration enough to where you can manifest what you want because you're in such a high vibration, such a good mood, and very happy. But again, with this think first before you judge card, pairing it with this reconsider, whatever it is you have in your head now, there's things that need to be tweaked about it to make your dream a reality. So, you know, again, if this, going back to that business example, if you're wanting to start that business, there are things you may want to reconsider. Maybe specific services you want to offer wouldn't be the best fit. Maybe finding other services would be a better fit or something like that. There's just, and I feel like as time goes by and you get on this path to doing whatever this thing is, you're gonna start seeing certain things just keep hitting roadblock after roadblock after roadblock. And that is gonna be your indication that maybe those aren't the right things to go after. Not to scrap the whole dream or the whole idea, just certain elements of it may not be working and just be very open-minded to see what could work, who could help, etc. And again, with the romance, you know, if this is a question about that, you know, finding the true love, your soulmate, your twin flame, whatever, this is very promising that, you know, going back to think first before you judge, this person is going to be your twin flame or your soulmate or who you just ultimately want to be with, but they may not be who your mind or your ego is picturing or, you know, trying to manifest, if that makes any sense. So they're going to be slightly different than you're expecting. And again, just keeping that open mind is really going to help you be fluid to kind of flow with the energies that are aligning to make this manifestation or this dream a reality for you guys. So let's go ahead and get one of these cards here. Okay, how can group number one make their dream a reality? Get that one turned, we're gonna take it. Birds of a feather, and we already did this deck, but there's a reason I reached for it a second time. So what's really being a draw to me for this, I'm, I'm epic fail today, but I think that it's a good thing I picked this deck up a second time because birds of a feather, you have feather here written and there's this, you know, sisterhood here working together on a common goal. And this reminds me of that game, you know, we used to play as kids called light as a feather, stiff as a board. And it was always so scary, like, ooh, this is like demonic or bad in some way. Like, ooh, this is creepy. But really, if you think about it, it's just people working together for a common goal. And I love this. I love that I accidentally reached for the same deck twice to get you this message because feather and feather, there are four birds here. There are four women here. So there may be four people involved in this thing you're wanting to make a reality. Maybe there are, you're wanting to start a business and that you have three employees that are working very close knit with you to make this dream a reality. Or, you know, siblings that you are working with or, you know, uh, friends or people. I mean, there's gonna be four very prominent people. I think you're one of them. So three other prominent people that you are working with to make this manifestation come to life for you or this dream to come and become a reality. And then two plus five is seven. So it feels to me like this is, again, going back to sevens being that very spiritual number. It's like you guys are tapping into a more spiritual part of yourself. Once you get over the initial idea of what you think you need to do or what you think this thing is going to be or look like or be in the end, once you get over that initial thing, you're gonna tap into that more spiritual part of yourself that is gonna put you on the path of your life purpose. So this card, this card, this this uh, question you're asking or this manifestation or dream you're wanting to become a reality may have to do with um, something that is very purposeful, like life purpose or your career or something you're wanting to do to make a difference in the world is really what I keep seeing for you guys. So let's go ahead and grab one more card and I will grab the right deck this time. <laughs> okay, so group number one, what can they do to make their dreams come true? I'm just 
just reminded of that song on the Scott's Tots on The Office, and I bring up The Office quite a bit here on my channel because I love that show, but I just heard, hey, Mr. Scott, what you gonna do? What you gonna do to make our dreams come true? So it's almost like you're the Mr. Scott in this scenario, but instead of being like Michael Scott and not being able to come through on the promise that he made to these children, to pay for their college, you're gonna be able to just hand out, hand out, hand out, and really help a, gra a great amount of people. And I'm getting tingles as I say that, and kind of as I was explaining that, I, yeah. This is big, guys, this is awesome. So, what can group number one do to make their dreams come true or bring these manifestations to life? I want this one. This is so funny, you guys have a new romantic cycle begins with the new moon in Libra. So this may involve someone who is a Libra. You yourself may be a Libra, prominent placement, sun, moon, rising, uh, Jupiter, uh, Venus even, I'm really seeing, could be in Libra. And I'm just feeling, you know, if this was a romantic question, without a doubt that you're gonna manifest this person. And again, they may not fit the look or the vibe that you were hoping this person would fit, but it's gonna happen, and I feel like for many of you, this is gonna happen soon. A new romantic cycle begins soon. So if you're already with someone, that doesn't mean that, oh, you're gonna have to get rid of them and find someone new. This is just a new cycle within your relationship, and it feels very romantic and playful. You have two romance cards here. I feel like many of you guys are asking about a relationship, and like I was saying about this thing you were asking about and it being big and a life purpose, I feel like for some of you, the coming together of these two energies, you and this other person, may be, oh, 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 it's coming together for some of you. This is amazing. This is magical, and I absolutely love it. So what I'm seeing is the combining of your two energies will actually create, because there are four birds on this card. There are four people on this card. I feel like, you know, you and this person, this partner, are two of those people and the other two may be children you are bringing and your life purpose involves, I'm getting tingles, okay, here we go. Your life purpose involves bringing two souls onto this planet to, you know, their destiny would be something big as well. So just you, just you listening and answering the call to bring two souls into this world or onto this planet will be huge. And some of you have already done this. Some of you have already found this person. Some of you have already brought these children to earth side. Others of you, that is in the future, near future for some of you, you know, five years, however many years away for others of you, but it's not going to be exactly how you see it in your head with this reconsider. It's going to be different for each of you, and it's going to be different from the way you're thinking. It's going to all play out. It's, it's going to be, I think, surprising for some of you, but in a really good way. Like, it's like you're limiting yourself to, oh, I think I can go after this, but really what you're going to be getting is this. But by opening your mind, releasing some judgments, and you know, not blocking your blessings by sending those boats and helicopters away when you pray to be rescued from the island, be very open-minded and follow the signs, follow the synchronicities, because I do feel like that you're going to be seeing number uh, 25 maybe, or sevens everywhere. So I see 777, 444, even 888. You may be seeing a lot of those numbers and symbols and synchronicities. And what I'm saying for you guys is just to follow those. Oh, be open-hearted enough to realize that your ego mind isn't the one in charge here. Two plus five, seven, that is your soul, that is your higher self, is in charge of making this dream a reality. And I feel like you guys are gonna be able to take the signs and go with the flow and realize that this is gonna happen a little differently than maybe you have kind of daydreamed in your head right now. So I really do hope this helps and that it resonated for you guys. You will have to let me know below what you thought. And as always, you guys, thanks again so, so much for all your likes, comments, shares, subscribes, and all the things. And I really, truly do hope to see you back at the Done Creative. All right, bye. All right, group number two, let's go ahead and find out how you can make your dreams a reality or how you can make these manifestations you are trying to bring to life come to life. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the card you use to select this pile. We have the number 21, Clover. And it says here, release your guilt. And two plus one equals three, which is a very creative number. So for some of you, this may be involving some sort of creative project or creative endeavor. 
but it has a lot of guilt surrounding it. Like um, I'm seeing someone who may be a stay at home mom or a work at home mom or a mother that works even. And you have this idea for something, but you know it's gonna take time away from your children. And it's really kind of a guilt trip every time you wanna work on this thing. Like, okay, now I'm ignoring my children because I really wanna focus on this. And I, it's something like that. So you can kind of take that scenario and put it into your specific situation because that guilt is gonna look slightly different for each of you. And I do see there are two women here on this card. It, I hope this isn't too dark that you can't really see. So I'm just gonna show you up here. There are two women on this card and it looks almost like they're trying to reach out and touch hands, almost hold hands. So for some of you, I'm feeling like there may be guilt in a relationship. So whether it is a same sex couple relationship you're wanting to get into, maybe even for the first time and you're just now exploring these feelings uh, for some of you, release the guilt surrounding that because you know your heart, your soul knows what it wants and knows what it needs and you don't need to feel guilty about that. But that also can go to where maybe this situation in romance is complicated for some of you. Even if you're with the person you wanna be with and you are married to them and you love them, maybe there's some weird cycles within your relationship surrounding money or sex or you know, raising children. There's something that's you know not quite on par or quite um, meshing with this person. A cycle within a relationship. Maybe you have the same fight every month um, about the same thing, and you're like, how can we get over this? It's just so hard. The first step would be to release the guilt, release your guilt surrounding this thing. And I feel like you know she's got a pocket full and a handful of clovers. She's got a handful of clovers. It's almost like they're trying to reach for the same clover and they touched hands and it's like they looked up into each other's eyes like we want the same thing we're just going about it and thinking we need to do this in a different way than the other person is so it's like you realize there's a common goal here and this could be even bigger scale like take it as far as like the whole united states or the whole world even we all want the same things for ourselves and each other i mean most of us that aren't psychopaths and sociopaths we want ourselves to be happy. We want our friends and family and other people to be happy. We just, we all want those things, but we all have different ideas of how to get those things to become a reality is really what I'm seeing. I'm getting tingles now. So there's some guilt involved in the way that you are thinking about this dream you have. Maybe you just know how much time it's going to take. Again, going back to that example, and it's really kind of weighing you down like do I even attempt this because it's going to take up so much of my time but I feel like whatever it is you're asking about is definitely worth pursuing because with that creativity involved it feels like it's coming from your inner self your higher self your soul this feels like a soul calling for many of you so whether this is a re about a relationship about a job about anything it feels like it's a, got a very spiritual and creative basis to it, and it is very worthwhile to pursue. It's just releasing your guilt is gonna be key in helping you manifest this dream or making this dream a reality in your life. So let's go ahead and get some more information about this dream or this manifestation you're hoping to come to life. What's this group number one? Need to know to make their dreams come true, to manifest this thing they are wanting. We have willing release. Release and release, you guys. I love when this happens. And because I accidentally reached for this deck twice in group number one, if you want to go see those shenanigans, that was insane because they got, they had the word feather on both of this card and then the second one of these that I pulled. And I was just like, I accidentally reached for this deck, but now I see why, and it all made sense. Like, spirit just directs you where it needs to go, so I'm getting tingles. I love this. I love this so much. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull two from this two total. What? Woo! I didn't even get to ask a question, but I think the energy was still going. Call of the Muse. Oh my goodness, you guys. What I, what I was saying about that creativity and just feeling it from within... This is huge, you guys. This is really beautiful. If you are someone who is a creative, you're wanting to bring something to life, a book, a painting, a business of creativity, um, just anything you can think of that is artistic or creative, dance, music, all of it. Whatever it is you're asking about, especially involving something creative, 
Um, create creativity and creation also has to do with making and raising children. So if that's part of your path, this is absolutely on the right path for you. But what I'm seeing with this willing release, you have a 49, a four plus nine equals 13. One plus three equals four. You have the support of your guides, your angels. I see here all these little um, puffs of dandelion here. Those to me feel like wishes you can wish on and make become a reality. Make become, that is not proper English. No, it is not. <laughs> you know what I mean though. You, you have these ripe opportunities for you to wish upon a star or to wish upon, you know, you make a wish and then you blow the dandelion away. It feels to me like when you go after this manifestation you're hoping to make a reality. When you do take actions into that direction, it's like you're blowing one of those puffs of dandelions and all those seeds of beautiful manifestation will go out and not just blow away, but they will plant themselves all over the place around you and reap their own, you know, create their own fruit or their own abundance. So putting the action into this manifest thing you're wanting to manifest, putting that forward action is going to be key. Taking action is going to be key. Getting over that guilt and willing release, releasing what's not serving you, releasing the things that are weighing you down. And for most of you, it is guilt surrounding even thinking you're good enough to go after whatever this is. Your self-worth issues are going to play a major role. And just knowing that you have that confidence within you that you can make this dream a reality. You can pull this off. You can do it. You really can. I, I mean, it's all, all the tools you need are within, I, I see. It's like you don't need a lot of external tools and resources to really make this thing a, a reality. It's like it's already within you. And of course, you know, to do our jobs, we need computers. We need, you know, for my job, we need cameras, we need computers, lighting, um, editing software. I mean, that starts to add up after a while, but it feels to me like whatever you're asking about, at least to get started, you, you won't need a lot of external resources to get you started. You will start by using your own inner wisdom, your own inner knowledge to get started. And then once you build that momentum and get your name out there, or you know, whatever it is you're going after, um, you put that energy out there, you're gonna have the tools and the resources needed to make this dream become a reality even quicker, the more time and effort you put into this thing. So then with this Call of the Muse card, I feel like once you, um, I, I can almost see you guys sitting down to do some sort of meditation. And it's like you're calling in the energy to make this dream a reality. So if you haven't done that already, that might be something very powerful that you can do. Maybe put on some binaural beat music that you find here on YouTube or some you maybe have created if you're that person that does that. Um, put on some really deep, beautiful music and just call in the muse, call in your guides, your angels, and all of the tools you're going to need. I mean, they are already within, but just call them in to you and just know that they are there. Once you end the meditation, just know you have everything you need to make this dream a reality because you do. It's just releasing the guilt. Knowing you're good enough is really what's going to bring it to you even sooner. So let's go ahead and get some more guidance for you guys. Okay, group number two, what do they need to do Whoop. to make their dream a reality? How can they make their dreams come true? Manifest what they are hoping to manifest. Okay, so we have the energy is gaining momentum. And that's kind of similar to what I said earlier about once you do this meditation or once you know you have the resources you need, it's like it's going to start happening for you. Just taking those actions is really going to put that energy like it says here, to gain that momentum. I just see it as a snowball rolling down the hill and I use that um, visual quite a bit here on my channel, but it just seems so apt for your reading today. This snowball of energy that you're putting toward this manifestation or this dream you're wanting to make a reality because dreams don't just tend to come true just by thinking about them and then poof, they appear. And if it did happen that way, it would almost take some of the fun out of it because I think for me, and probably you guys as well, the journey is sometimes more fun than getting to that goal or that finish line. The journey is what makes life worth living and 
makes it so much richer. So I'm feeling like you guys are really gonna enjoy the process of making this dream become a reality. And once that dream does become the reality, it feels to me like that's just the starting point for you guys. Like you're you're ready to make this dream. You know, once you make that dream the reality, you, you create the business, you get in the relationship, you, you know, insert whatever here. You make the thing happen. It's like, that's just the beginning. Now you can really get down to business and make beautiful um, creations or make beautiful magic on this planet, I see. You're just creating a masterpiece of some sort. And that could be a child. That could be some sort of um, writing that you're doing, creating a book, um, music, dance, all sorts of creative things. But even for some of you, a relationship, a beautiful, masterful, divinely inspired, divinely guided, um, sacred union or sacred relationship that goes beyond the physical, the mental, the emotional, that also includes that spiritual element, I think is what many of you are also trying to manifest. So let's go ahead and get some more information. Okay, so these are upside down. Okay, group number two, make their dream a reality. How can they make their manifestation come to life? Oop, this one turned. Look forward. So that's really a great advice because four plus one is five. So there is a big change coming with this manifestation. So whatever it is you're hoping to have happen, there's a big change gonna happen when this thing happens. It feels like a very happy change, but I'm also seeing how narrow this path is along and winding this is and how there's just a steep drop off. So it's almost like you're looking forward, but you're also looking to the side to make sure you're safe. You have good footing. There's no obstacles or rocks in your path. So you're looking forward. And I recently used this um, kind of uh, visual in one of my recent readings where you're in a boat. And when you're looking in the past and you're stuck in the past, you're stuck in the guilt, you're complete, you're just looking behind you and the rapids in the river are taking you on this boat. I cannot English today. I cannot grammar today. I am so sorry, you guys. Let me try to rephrase this because I try to see it and all my words just tumble over each other. So I'm seeing you in a boat on a river. That Let's establish the scene we're in first. <laughs> Story writer much? Okay. So you're in this boat in a river, a very rapid, choppy river, and it's moving you forward very quickly, but there are a lot of things in your way. There's a log floating over here. There's a rock right there. But if you're looking back or immersed in your guilt about this thing or not feeling worthy of this thing becoming a reality, you may hit that rock. You may bump into that log and it will take you off your path. Maybe you won't be able to watch when the river splits in two and you haven't decided which way you want to go. If you're looking back at the past, at the guilt, immersed in your guilt, you can't be in that present moment where all your power lies because your power only lies in the present moment. You can't change the past. I mean, some can argue that time is not linear and we can change the past, but just for the sake of this instance, let's say you can't change the past and you can't make the future happen right that second because you're not in that future moment. You're not in that past moment. You're in the present moment. So the actions you decide to take in the present moment are what are going to shape you toward the future you want, if that makes any sense. So releasing that guilt is going to be huge for you to ground yourself in the present moment because you're not going to be stuck in the past because guilt seems like for many of us, it can be a present energy, but it feels for many people like a past energy, something we keep holding against ourselves over and over and over again from our past. So it might even be good for you guys to do some sort of cord cutting meditation surrounding this area of guilt in your life. And I don't say cut the cord and that's that. I say rip the cord out by the roots so it doesn't grow back. So that might be something else you can do. I'm giving you guys a lot of meditative homework, but I feel like you guys might be here for it because you guys do feel very spiritual. And it might just be something you can do, a couple steps you can take to make this manifestation a reality much quicker by releasing the guilt, cutting, you know, ripping the cords out of that guilt and releasing it. You have released twice. So releasing the past, releasing what's holding you back, releasing the guilt is going to be huge for you guys. Very, very huge. So one more card. What does group number two need to do to make their dreams a reality? How can they 
manifest what they want. I'm feeling this one. Remain positive. I mean, I can't get any more cut and dry and clear than that. Just by remaining positive, and I know, oh, just by remaining positive, it's a lot easier said than done because trying to remain in that high vibration is very difficult, especially for an extended period of time because life happens, things happen, and you know, our energy is shifting all the time. So just by trying to remain positive, I don't know if you can see in this card here, this person is very happy. I don't know if you can tell by their facial expression, if you can even see that on this camera, but they have all this abundance. It looks like um, they're growing something there in their hands, but it feels to me like this person planted those seeds and now they're reaping the beautiful flowers or fruit of those seeds. And there are coins kind of on the, on the sides here, like they're pouring out of this abundance this person has created. So I feel like whatever question you're asking, there is abundance to be had from this, making this dream a reality. So I hope that makes sense. I don't think there's much else I can say, you guys. This was pretty straightforward of a reading, so it's gonna be a little bit shorter than group number one when I pulled the extra card, but I will hope this resonated for you guys. You will have to let me know below what you're hoping to manifest, what question you asked, or what, what dream you're wanting to make a reality. I'm always so nosy to know what you guys are up to and what you guys, are thinking. I love it. So you have to let me know below what you thought. And as always, you guys, thanks again so, so much for all your likes, comments, shares, subscribes, and all the things. And I really, truly do hope to see you back at the Done Creative. All right, bye. All right, group number three, let's go ahead and find out what you can do to make your dreams a reality or how you can make your manifestations come to life. And you guys have the confidence card. And it says here, it comes with time and practice. And it is the number 23, two plus three equals five. So whatever it is you're hoping to create or manifest or whatever dream you're wanting to come true, it's going to involve a pretty significant change to happen in your life for this thing to manifest. But the best way and the quickest way you can make this thing happen and make it reality is to have confidence within yourself. But it does say here, it comes with time and practice. So. Whatever it is you're hoping to go after, whatever dream you're wanting to come true, this is not some overnight sensation kind of thing happening. This is something you've worked diligently and put your time, put your skill into, time and practice. Maybe a meditative or a spiritual practice is also going to help you because the word practice just reminded me of a spiritual practice. So maybe implementing a more spiritual tilt on the underlying part of whatever it is you're hoping to manifest or whatever dream you're hoping to come true will actually make it come true sooner because it will help you gain the confidence in yourself when you can tap into that soul aspect and realize you are this limitless being on this limited planet, you realize finally the sky is not the limit. There is no limit, but we've kind of been conditioned to believe there is a limit. And of course, in our when we incarnate, we kind of sign these soul contracts and kind of decide I want this to happen, that to happen. So we kind of, as souls limit ourselves in a way, but we're not talking about the limitations of what this earth is putting on us. We're talking about limitations that our soul kind of mapped out what they want to experience within this life. Those are the really the only limitations we're living under in this incarnation, if that makes any sense. I hope I didn't completely just confuse you to pieces, but I'm just really, um, I'm being drawn to this sword here on her little tote bag here. So it's almost like you have all the tools you need from within. Your tools are already within you, much like group number two. I felt they had everything they needed to get, at least to get started on making this dream a reality. And I feel like, you know, I'm just wanting to call this her bag of tricks. Like you guys already have your bag of tricks, whether they are physical items, such as, you know, for my job, I need a camera, I need a computer, I need editing software, I need, you know, internet access to YouTube so I can upload. Those are some of my tools, but my other tools come from within and that's how I get you the information. So I feel like yours is kind of like that as well. You have these intuitions or these intuitives. So you may even yourself be doing what I'm doing here or something very similar, or maybe you're using your intuition or inner wisdom a lot in whatever it is you're hoping to manifest or create in your life. And it's gonna come with time and practice because the more you 
it's like they say creativity isn't something you can use and use and use and then it's gone like you don't use it up the more you use it the more you have the more you get the more it amplifies that's what you would consider not a um, limited resource like say you know you're mining a specific resource on the earth you can only mine that resource so much so much so much till it's gone but that's not what we're talking about here we're talking about that like creativity where the more you use it the more you have kind of thing the intuition the more you use your intuition the better it gets the more you have access to it the more you use your spiritual gifts the more access you have to said spiritual gifts if that makes sense so the things that are kind of this um, unlimited well for you guys, they come from within. The things that are very limited are what you'll find on the 3D Earth. Like I was saying, as you know, mining, you can only mine so much until that element or that, that mineral is gone or used up in some way. But what we're talking about here with you guys, it's an unlimited well, an unlimited supply. It's just, I see it keeps flowing and flowing and flowing and flowing. The more you use it, the more you can have it, the more you have access to it. It's just beautiful. The more you can share it with others. And even, I just, I'm drawn to this sun, I'm sun I wanna say sunrise behind her, maybe sunset, who knows, sun back there, kind of illuminating her head. It's almost like the light is shining out of her is really what I'm thinking. Um, so the more you use your creativity, the more you use that inner wisdom, the brighter your light is going to shine and the more you're going to attract people to you to help you make this dream a reality too is what I'm seeing. And that's kind of like what was going on with group number one. So let's go ahead and deal our first couple of cards. And I accidentally picked for this deck twice or pulled from this deck twice in group one, but it was so magical because one of the words on the second card we pulled was a word from this main cover card and it just was so magical that it just absentmindedly I reached for that deck a second time. So let's go ahead and see if we can get some magic going in your reading. What is group number three making come true? What wish? It's like I'm, I'm thinking the question and trying to say it and I can't say it as quickly as I'm thinking it so my words are very jumbled in this reading today and if you've checked out piles one or two you can see where I'm messing up my words and just like tumbling over myself trying to get what I'm seeing and hearing out of my head and out to you guys so what magic what magic what what dream is for number three making a reality how can they make their dream a reality? How can they make these manifestations come to life? Card number one, we have the uncharted sea. Oh, ooh, and a higher view. That's beautiful. So really what's standing out to me is you have another five. Four plus one is five. Big changes coming for you guys. And then we also have four plus six is 10. One plus zero is one, new beginning. So as a result of a big change that's coming up, you guys have a new beginning and it is the uncharted sea. So to me, it feels like you are branching out from anything you've known in the past. And that's maybe why your confidence is a bit wobbly with this dream or this desire or this manifestation you're hoping to make a reality is because this is unknown territory for you. Maybe you're learning a new skill. Maybe you're, you know, as an example, maybe you're wanting to start a YouTube channel for tarot, but maybe you're still kind of new to tarot. So you're like, well, who's gonna take me seriously if I barely know what I'm talking about? And maybe this is uncharted territory for you, but that's not to say you can't learn those skills because you have a higher view. You can tap into that intuition and start using it and practicing it and getting it to flow easier because the more you put yourself out there like I'm doing here on this video the the more natural it becomes and the more that flow just kind of comes out of you and it's there and ready to use at any time you need it but again when you're starting out it just seems like a big daunting thing like how can I ever tap into that intuition part of myself or that higher wisdom part of myself how do I do it I don't even know because it is very natural to us as children, but we're kind of programmed out of that line of thinking to where, you know, oh, make-believe is, is not reality, so we need to be more realistic. And, you know, we kind of lose that little um, very childlike and wondrous part of ourselves that is very easily tapped into that other side and into that internal self as well. Because the internal self is from the other side, if that makes any sense. But 
whatever this dream or manifestation you're wanting to accomplish or go after, it feels like something very out of the box. I'm seeing very, um, I just said Pisces, but I meant to say Aquarius, but water, deep water, we're, we're talking Pisces, we're talking Aquarius. So you yourself may be a Pisces Aquarius cusper um, or have a prominent placement, sun, moon, rising, um, Jupiter, Venus, Neptune, <laughs> any planet, really, you could have any planet just sitting there on the cusp of Aquarius and Pisces. I myself have my Venus right there in Pisces, the early part of Pisces. Venus kind of rules over a bit of your creativity and your love. So like for me, I like to do things very out of the box and kind of uncharted in my creative things and in my romantic ways. I like to just do things differently than your average person. I kind of go to the beat of my own drum with things like that. So if you have a prominent placement on the cusp of Aquarius and Pisces, that might give you some indication of what it is that we're talking about here in this reading and maybe give you some additional information to help you make this dream a reality even sooner. But with this higher view card, I feel like you guys are coming at this dream or this manifestation you're wanting to make a reality from that higher view, from that, you know, soul part of yourself, from your higher self. Maybe this is very life purpose, divinely guided inspiration for you to create something new on earth that's never been done before. Whether that's a book that's never been written in just your very amazing specific way or a film that you're wanting to create, or um, some, and it does feel very creative. I think all three of these piles have had very creative elements within them, but you guys are no exception. You feel very creative, and like you're tapping into this uncharted part of yourself that you haven't really discovered even much of yet, and as you go after this manifestation or after this dream, it feels very Neptunian and very Uranus, Uranus and um, just very, just out of this world is what I'm seeing. Something ethereal and just out there in a good way, in a good way. So yeah, you guys, um, there's whatever it is you're wanting to make a reality, it's very needed on this planet at this time, I think. And that's why you have such this gumption to want to go after it at this time because it is very needed and it needs to be on this planet. And you're bringing it in from higher realms. Your higher self is tapped into those higher realms, but your guides, your angels, your dreams, um, your intuitions, your daydreams, they're all connected to the other side and bringing you divinely guided information. So let's go ahead and get you some more cards. Okay. How can group three make their dream a reality? How can they manifest this dream into reality? I need this one. Okay, so we have don't let pride get in your way. And I think pride can kind of go with confidence. And I don't think you guys are these boastful, prideful people that are overly confident. I think it's much the other way where your pride is kind of already kind of wounded or very low confidence. Like, it's not like you're overly confident, like, and you completely miss the mark. It feels to me like you're not confident enough and that's why you miss the mark because you just don't believe in yourself a lot of times and this pride is almost like a reverse pride for me for you guys it it's that's what it feels like but with the full moon in leo here you may have prominent placements in leo sun moon rising or other um i see maybe a mars or a jupiter or a saturn or a sun sun is sun moon rising so yeah i see in mars even mars very fiery but um I don't feel like you guys are fiery, like charge in and get the job done kind of people. I feel like you guys are more feelers, like um, you just want to feel out the situation before you dive in and get going. But just knowing that you have that confidence and that you should step into this role of whatever this dream is you're wanting to make reality, don't let your own self-worth issues or your own unconfident ways get in your way and just start to nurture yourself and realize you are a very beautiful spiritual person you are a soul and you deserve to go after these dreams that you you want to make a reality you deserve this to become a thing for you you absolutely do so let's go ahead and get another card for you guys okay how can group three make their dreams come true how can they make their manifestations a reality 
and we had this card I think in my last reading um, the yes or no reading I did recently which wasn't recently as in right before this video <laughs> but for you guys it was recently um, start anew so uncharted C you're starting something new you know that was that new beginning one plus six plus four is ten one plus zero is one that's that new beginning and then start anew is a new beginning card but there's a number two here so it feels like could be a partnership for some of you whether that's in a business or a project you're wanting to do or to create or if this is um, a relationship that you are in or wanting to be in eventually you have that opportunity to partner with someone to create a beautiful new beginning because I as I pointed out in that yes or no reading that caterpillar there is looking up at that beautiful butterfly like it reminds me of a little kid looking up at an adult like wow I want to be you when I grow up that's what I'm really being drawn to is you're still in this caterpillar stage but that does not mean that you're not ever gonna make it here you absolutely are you're on your way look it's on its way up it's on its way it probably when it gets up here it'll go into that chrysalis phase and then right after that there's the butterfly so you guys are on your way to making this thing a reality if you want you can do kind of a life review or kind of a goal set up uh, plan it out journal it out think about it talk about it just get that energy flowing in the direction of this dream or this manifestation you're hoping to create or make a reality in your life so let's go ahead and grab one more card for you guys how can group number one make their dreams a real group number one group number three we're on three now how can group three make their dreams a reality how can they make their manifestation come to life perfect timing and that's beautiful it really goes with what we were saying about you know time and practice i hear the word patience as well perfect timing is at hand you are still here you have a bit of a ways to go for time time and time it's funny every single one of these piles had repeating wording in each in a couple cards so i love that we get that validation that we're on the right track with that but perfect timing is at hand you may need to take that higher view to see the forest for the trees to realize how much work may be involved in making this dream a reality or how many moving parts there are to it or pieces or just unknowns that need to become known before this thing can fully manifest in your life. But that doesn't mean it's gonna take 40 years or anything like that. I just feel like maybe there's some more things that need to line up, you know, um, new people that maybe need to step on board if this is something that involves other people. Um, some charts that need to be made before because it's still uncharted territory what you're wanting to do what you're wanting to manifest maybe even if you're wanting to build a house or a dream home maybe you still need to buy the property before you can build the house before you know domino 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 like one thing has to happen before you can get to step seven you can't just skip over to step seven if you haven't you know started at step one if that makes sense and perfect timing is at hand so I do feel like this dream that you're wanting to manifest is absolutely going to come true but it is going to take your hard work your dedication and just knowing that it's going to take time and practice or time and patience to get this ball rolling on this thing and I do feel like some of you have been working on if especially if this is some sort of creative project this is something you've been mulling over in your head maybe not even like working on seriously or maybe you were working on it seriously and put it away for a while and now you're kind of like maybe I need to dig that manuscript out of the drawer maybe I need to pull that painting out of the closet whatever it is I feel like you you're either just now starting with this start anew or you're getting a new start within it like maybe you're um, amplifying the energy and having fresh new energy come in and it's really inspiring you to get back at it so if you've been at this thing for a while just have the confidence to know that you can your bag of tricks here you have everything you need already within you and stuff is going to start showing up in your physical reality to help you to get you there on your way and perfect timing is at hand so it's going to happen when it's meant to happen and I hope that that doesn't deter you from going after it. If you find out it's gonna take maybe a little bit longer than you're hoping, it's still gonna happen. So thank you guys so much. You will have to let me know below um, what you are hoping to manifest. I'm always, like I said in group two, I'm very nosy as to what you guys have going on and what dreams you're hoping to make a reality. I love to hear from you guys. I love to engage with you guys and see the conversations you guys get going amongst yourselves 
in the comments. It's always fun to see you guys making friends and reaching out to others and encouraging others as well. I love that. And as always, you guys, you'll have to let me know below what you thought. Thanks again so, so much for all your likes, comments, shares, subscribes, and all the things. And I really, truly do hope to see you back at the Dine Creative. All right, bye.